Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chaff. We're back again with another video. Don't, don't, like, yeah, ignore how I look today. I, I don't know, I couldn't sleep that well for some reason. I don't know what's up. But uh, this is the man who was trapped on an idol survival show, the insane story of Lilush Vibritania. Uh, this, uh, this was suggested on the Discord, it looked pretty interesting, so I was like, let's check it out. To the adoring fans, oh, plenty, I missed From the glitz and glamour and to the adoring cute, fans, plenty of people dream of becoming a famous idol. Today. But unfortunately, due to the oversaturation of idols in the industry, it is becoming increasingly difficult to stand out amongst the crowd. And okay. whether it's Produce 101, Mix 9, The Unit, or any other survival the show, unit? we have seen time and time again. Okay, okay. Qu quick FYI before we start, before we continue. I don't know anything about idols. I, I am from Bulgaria. We don't got idols. We are idiots. A lot of, so uh, yeah, we don't really, you know, <laughs> I don't understand this whole, you know, thing. I mean, I've been watching VTubers, but entertainment company, brother. Again, Not plenty this. of people who fail to find success despite being incredibly talented and hardworking. But what if I told you that there was actually someone who managed to find success through one of these survival shows despite not wanting to be famous and in fact actively well, trying to Well, beyond this lose. show though. Well, that was exactly what happened to Vladislav Ivanov, also Vladislav? known as Li Luzio or Lelouch on the survival Vladislav show Top Ivanov? Dog Ying. Also known as Li Luzio or Lelouch on the survival show Chuang Zhao Ying 2021. For some context, Chuang Zhao Ying or Chuang for short is basically the Chinese version of Produce 101, where 101 trainees compete through various challenges trainees. and performances, and the top 11 most popular trainees get to debut in a temporary project group. Despite okay. purposely slacking throughout the show and even outright stating that he wanted to be eliminated, Lelouch somehow still found himself rising up the ranks every week, eventually becoming Why does he have Rock? He looks so annoyed to be there. <laughs> found himself Look at his face. You <laughs> don't enjoy that shit at all. One of the top contestants on the show. <laughs> so, how did this happen? Uh, how? how did his worst nightmare come true? Before we begin, I wanted to introduce you to Clutebox, who kindly sponsored today's Loot video. Bot? Clutebox is a K-pop subscription a box, which contains a variety of snacks and merchandise from all of your favorite K-pop groups. Some of you guys may remember how impressed I was with the Blackpink Clue box. And well, today Clutebox sent me another one of their boxes, the BTS box. So let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. Every single box is different, so you never really know what you're gonna get, and opening your clue box is always such an exciting event. Hi. Okay, can we, can we all talk you about something? I know uh, all people into this uh, K-pop are probably gonna hate on this, but y'all are fucking weirdos if you're using pillows like this. Y'all y'all can't be making fun of weeps for having body pillows, and y'all doing the same shit but to an actual human being. I think that's even creepier. Y'all motherfuckers need to chill the fuck out. Probably gonna get a lot of hate, but hey, you can give zero fucks about it. Y'all got life human body pillows, okay? You can't be making fun of weeps for having body pillows if y'all K-pop fans got body pillows of actual humans. Opening your clue box is always such an exciting event. Oh my gosh, is this the I Need You oh album? My gosh. Wow, that's so cool. I can't wait to eat these Korean snacks. The best part is, not only do you get to pick your favorite group, you also get to pick your bias. Do they so all be come sure with? To check out Clue Fox's website today, and don't forget to use code pillows. 678 for 5% off. Too popular for his own. Lelouch was originally born in the city of. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try my best not to butcher this. Vladivostok in Russia. Vladivostok? He then moved to Shenyang, a city in China, in 2015 and began learning Mandarin. Thereafter, he remained in China and had several jobs, including a sales agent, a model, a translator, and he even worked as a taiko. And I don't really a think what? That there's an English word for this, but a taiko is basically somebody who helps their clients purchase goods from another country. So in Lelouch's case, he was helping... Wait. Helps them purchase goods from another... 
Okay. Chinese people purchased goods from Russia and then charging these clients a commission, which was how he made his money. As you can see, Lelouch was doing great. He was employed, he had plenty of opportunities, and he was making good money. Never had it crossed his mind to ever enter the cutthroat music industry. He had never sang nor danced, and frankly, being an idol was the furthest thing from his mind. And Until one fateful day. The fateful day. So Lelouch was actually friends with this guy called Ivan Wang, who was the CEO of a Japanese slash Hong Kong based entertainment company called King. And she said Ivan Wang. Oh, I heard as I'm gonna wang. Now, King I'm sorry. Enterprises wanted to send two of their Japanese trainees, Amu and Yu, to compete on Chuang 2021. However, Ivan, the CEO, was worried that his two Japanese trainees would have trouble adapting to life in China, especially since they couldn't speak Mandarin. Oof. Uh. Luckily, he remembered that he had a friend, Lelouch, who was living in China. So he reached out to Lelouch to help take care of the two boys Please and help their me. Mandarin teacher and translator while they were on the show. As if a Russian wait. guy teaching two Japanese... Wait, wait, wait. Did he go from a translator to an actual contestant? Okay. Japanese dude, Chinese, isn't absurd enough. The story goes that a director for Chuang allegedly spotted Lelouch and asked him to join the show just five days before filming was about to begin. Now, you might be asking yourself why the production team was recruiting contestants just days before the show. Someone I mean, surely they would have had months to prepare dropped out? beforehand, right? Well, turns out Chuang was actually struggling to find contestants. Many of the international trainees could not make it last minute due oh. to visa issues. And additionally, there were also some local trainees who had suddenly withdrawn from the show. And so, desperate to find contestants, the producers were willing to recruit literally anyone they I could guess find. he'll do. But even after they had already roped in a bunch of random people to join the show, such as Li Luo'er, an unsuspecting intern, Tao Zuo, who had originally <laughs> Why am I why are we still here? Just to suffer? Really <laughs> applied to be a dance teacher for the show. And David, a translator. They still had less than 90 contestants, a far cry from the intended 101 contestants. <laughs> and so, upon realizing that That's Luke, hilarious. a pretty good looking guy could also speak Chinese, they immediately saw an opportunity and rushed to offer him a spot on the show. Initially, Lelouch rejected the offer since he had no intentions of becoming an idol. However, after repeated attempts by the production team, Lelouch finally agreed and became the third contestant Bro. under King Enterprise. How, 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 y'all are bullying people into becoming idols. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all are bullying people into becoming idols. He was after all feeling a little bit bored and thought that joining the show could be a cool experience and a great way to get him out of his comfort zone. Try new life. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You win? I guess. <laughs> yeah, so it turns out being a contestant on Chuang was a lot harder than Lelouch had anticipated. Right from the start, Lelouch struggled. I mean, he had never received any training and was predictably placed in the F class during the first F -class? evaluation. Initially, Lelouch actually tried to remain positive and he even mentioned that he wanted to challenge himself and work hard. Oh, that's a cool hoodie though. However, as time passed, the stress of idol life quickly started getting to Lelouch. Not only did he struggle with singing and dancing, he also lacked energy and constantly felt tired. I mean, every day was physically exhausting. Bruh, look at yeah. <laughs> It looks like they're torturing my boy. What the fuck? Yo, look at him. They often spot him lying down during practice 
or struggling to catch his breath while singing or rapping. Worse yet, due to his lack of skills and low energy, he was also constantly being criticized by the mentors and teachers on the show. Yo. It was clear Lelouch was just... not cut out to be an idol. And by episode 3, he actually started expressing that he wanted to go home. <laughs> the funniest part was that Lelouch was not even trying to hide his hatred of idol life. He was openly complaining on screen about how the show wore him out, how he regretted joining the show, and how he just wanted his freedom back. At this point, you may be wondering why Lelouch didn't just quit if he hated being on the show that much. Well, yes. it turns out Lelouch had actually signed a, signed a contract when I knew it. I knew it. I mean, there is no other reason why you wouldn't just quit. Because you cannot quit. Probably some huge fines if you quit, right? Oh. No, which means that he would most likely have to pay hefty fines if he were to break the contract and leave early. Yeah. All Lelouch could do was to hope and pray that his rankings would be low enough to finally get him eliminated <laughs> from the show. And so Lelouch did everything he could to sabotage his own rankings. Whether it was He played the bad boy. <laughs> Pretending to be bad at Chinese. Sure, 就是你，利路修，装听不见是吧？我发现他跟你说，他想听懂就听懂，想听不懂他就听不懂。Or try his best to simply be a. Lelouch did it all. Yet, much to Lelouch's dismay, he somehow managed to rank an impressive. Uno reverse card, bro. All your efforts to look bad made you look bad but good. Play the bad boy, boy. You played the bad boy card and. 29 during the first Damn. elimination. And these rankings just kept Bruh. improving every <laughs> Look at him, he's like, what Bro the fuck desperate. is happening? He started pleading fans to not vote for him so he could go home. And at one point, even ranked fans <laughs> like, stop loving him. Yeah, I won't. Amazing. Don't love me. Because unbeknownst to him, his lack of stage presence and reluctant attitude were precisely what made him popular. <laughs> Firstly, compared to all of the other contestants who worked yeah, hard was and something were different. to win, Lelouch definitely stood out from the crowd and ended up becoming an unintentional comedic relief for not just the viewers <laughs> but also the other contestants on the show. Everyone found his pessimism and deadpan attitude hilarious, and he became an icon of South. Bro, health. okay, I have a question. Does this show? Can I find it somewhere online with English subtitles? I, I, I'm actually kind of curious. You know. <laughs> <laughs> For some context, Song culture is basically the Chinese millennial concept of having a defeatist attitude towards life. And I guess you could say it's kind of similar to the idea behind things such as the Doomer meme from America or the Gudetama from Japan. What? Good. Yo, Japan, what is this cute thing you all got for. D yo, it looks adorable. Additionally, many people saw Lelouch as the embodiment of toxic Asian work culture. As you guys may know, ah. many Asian countries, including China, are known yeah. for having insane work hours and low pay. There's no such thing as work-life balance here, and many people find themselves burnt out, overworked, and stuck in jobs that they simply don't enjoy. And so, many of these people found themselves relating to Lelouch, <laughs> and thought it was refreshing to finally see someone who wasn't afraid to express what everyone else was feeling. Exhaustion. He became a meme of sorts, with many calling him the most miserable wage slave. Fans Damn. even banded together and joked that they should vote for him and make him do 996. Bro, y'all are sadistic. I thought since he's you, you should help the guy out, not to make him suffer even more. What the hell is wrong with y'all? For context, 996 or 996 in Chinese refers to the practice of working from 9am to 9pm, 6 days a week. Obviously an insane schedule, which is actually common in certain industries such as the Alibaba. IT and tech industries in China. 
Lastly, despite seeming like a cold and distant person, Lelouch actually had a softer side to him. 对于已经电走的人，我想说，这个排名，并不表示我比你们好，因为我知道这里大家都很优秀，所以你们。未来一定会加油。哎 ，Good guy。And although he hated every second of the competition, <laughs> he would still put in just a little bit more effort during group challenges in order to not let his team down. 我还是完成这个舞蹈三天内，这是因为我尊重我的队友们。为什么不会 rain on the ground? All of this made Lelouch extremely popular, and in the end, Lelouch actually made it all the way to the finals, ironically beating out Wait, where was he? Lelouch. Oh, is that him on the right? Okay, okay, okay. I was like, wait, wait. Ironically, beating out Amu and Yu, who, if you remember, are the two trainees that King Enterprises had actually intended place. to compete on the show. Oh, finals top twenty-five or twenty-four. Throughout the final episode, it was clear that Lelouch did not want to be there, and at times he genuinely looked kind of upset. I mean, things were getting real now. It was no longer a joke. He had barely survived the past three months of trauma. But actually, winning the show and being in a boy group for years. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, I wonder if he wins, would they somehow are they able to force him into a contract? Because that would be actual hell for the dude. Finally, it came time to announce the eleven oh, winners. No. Oh no! This was the moment that everyone oh, had been no, waiting no, for. Oh no! 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 No!